munitions. Return to the combat area. No! <laughs> okay, that was kind of crazy! Hi guys, this is Matty Ace, and today's video I'd like to dedicate to the Lone Wolf Clan and their Infantry Paradise server, where I've been playing quite a lot. Now, this server is one of the servers that have quite specific rules. Uh, one of the rules is that you cannot use the SMG-8, you cannot use a mortar, and you cannot use uh, some of the stationary weapons that are placed outside of uh, the map or where only one team can actually enter it and uh, there might be a few more rules here that hasn't affected my playstyle all that much at the end of this kill streak on the other hand you will see how uh, the rules actually affects my choice quite a bit i'm gonna run out of ammo and one of the guys that i killed had the smg8 unfortunately i couldn't pick up his kit uh, and continue with that because obviously that would have been me broken the rules so uh, well you'll see how it ends up so maybe you don't really know what uh, lone wolves are all about or at least what their infantry paradise server is all about instead of me trying to explain it when i don't really actually know it myself i'm going to read directly what ube has written in their discord channel and i quote Infantry Paradise is an idea, a culture. It is a way of enjoying the game without the bullshit and cancerous elements DICE has added into the game. The idea is that we just want balanced games without having rage attacks due to bullshit mechanics. The Lone Wolf's Clan hosts a server that aims to encourage like-minded people to gather at a public pub that is made for everyone. Your past or future doesn't matter. You enjoy battlefield games for what they are, but you value infantry first and foremost, hence Infantry Paradise. The maps and rules are created to create a paradise for infantry players. You can think of it like Infantry Paradise is for everyone, but the Lone Wolf's Clan is for the ones who take it to heart and really believe in the Infantry Paradise idea. Therefore, Infantry Paradise remains an independent philosophy and a unique way to enjoy the game." End quote. So, thing of it is that uh, lately as I've been playing more and more on this server, they've actually started adding maps that have tanks and uh, planes. Actually, you'll see some footage later on in this video from Boulder and Blitz, something you probably wouldn't expect from Infantry Paradise. Now, adding these maps that have planes and uh, more tanks and so on, I'm not sure if that is something that they've adjusted recently, or if it's always been like that, but uh, yeah, it's mostly or almost exclusively these infantry based maps and uh, well, I guess that's why people go here because they know what they will get. I also want to send out a personal thanks to all the admins for keeping the servers balanced and for their never ending work maintaining the server free from cheaters. Now the cheaters do appear from time to time, but they normally do not last that long. You will also, if you keep playing on this server, notice that every once in a while the teams are so unbalanced that there probably won't be enough time to try to balance it out by switching players around. So every once in a while you'll actually see a very imbalanced match get restarted. They actually restart the match and scramble the teams and go from there. Now keep in mind, and this is something that I mentioned when I made my credit video to the AMG server and the AMG admins, whenever you have admins actually maintaining the servers and withholding or uh, trying to uh, enforce the rules which are in place in order to make it a better experience for all players, there's always going to be a lot of hate. There's always going to be those people that feel like they have been treated unfairly. And there's always going to be people that show up on these servers despite all the rules being crystal clear. And uh, they will flame about the rules because they dislike or disagree with the rules. Yet they came to the server on their own free choice. So. The next time you join any of uh, the admin server, whether it's AMG, Bob, uh, 
BF India, uh, SU, the Russian server, or if it's any of the servers on any other continent. I've been on some of the American servers. Now please do show the admins some respect, show them some appreciation, and hopefully we'll continue having administrated servers in Battlefield 2042. So now if you're not already a subscriber, please gently caress that subscriber button. Also, please be a little bit careful with my inexperienced notification bell. I have two more YouTube channels, one more for gaming and one for in real life content. And uh, I hope I will see you guys in the next live stream here on this very YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, at least I got on the right team. Uh, teams are imbalanced. Should I switch? I'll do a switch. An objective, Edward. All right. We're trying to balance this out, you know. We have an armored train en route. How much you there? That's a bit too many. Okay, okay. Um, that was a little bit optimistic. I mean, when, when you go against random players who doesn't have a clue of what they're doing, then yeah, mines will, will work. It's like that kill, for example. I shot down a plane with a one... one one hit killed the fighter. With that kill you could argue that you don't need AA, you can just shoot them down with one shot with a with a tank. You could you could make that argument too. Because you kill faster, it's just a one shot and they're dead. But everybody knows that once you're dealing with a with experienced uh, fighter. Light tank coming in, Maddie to D. Yeah. Once you're dealing with a good tank. With a good fighter, that's not gonna happen. He's not gonna fly like that. He's disabled. Damn, son, can you kill that horsey? The horse is down. Alright. There's a uh, couple of landmines. Oh, we turned it around. Give me two. Hold it. Merci à toi. La démunition. Fucking limpet addict!